My dad reminded me again, shortly before he passed away, that he really was more different and apart than anybody else on the bridge because he's the only one who's part alien. Because of that, his objective was to try to fit in with the rest of the crew. My dad could take on roles and play them with a professionalism so profound that he was unrecognizable to me. Since the Enterprise is obviously functional, I suggest we return to our starting place at once. Aye, sir. Wrong. Let's do it again. Uh, I suggest we return to our uh, starting save place at warp speed. Leonard uh, was coming at it that I'm in character and I'm in character all day long, uh, whereas we were able to, to throw it up. Radiation entering the lethal... No, 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 no. Okay, sorry. Sorry. All right, save it, please. Radiation at the tolerance level. Like, I mean, he was a serious artist about it. That was his way of working. But there was so many long hours. It was a tough thing for him to do. Go. What's the line? <laughs> My memory is so fond of DeForest Kelly and Leonard Nimoy. We spent the most time together day after day. There was a very rare day. I guess if I was kissing a girl, they weren't there. We were thrust into each other's company for long periods of time. We were laughing all the time. Action. Jim. Spock. Don't you all right? Yeah, my... Patient spattered me with a rock. She's gone. I can't get on my mark either. <laughs> Save it, mark. Leonard was a very funny guy. DeForest Kelly had a sly southern sense of humor, and I played the fool. It was wonderful fun. <laughs>